chapter 10, verse 3. Three. Bro. For Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Three. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. So we're not out here fighting, uh, spitting on people, stabbing people, shooting people. We're not, our weapons are not carnal. Read. But mighty through God. Mighty to, through God. Read. To pulling down of strongholds. Through doing what? Pulling down of strongholds. Pulling down of strongholds. What is one of those strongholds at Georgia State? What is one of those strongholds? Give me 1st Matthew chapter 1. 1 and 41. We're going to read about some of these sororities, some of these fraternities, some of these things that has our people in the midst of idolatry. Oh, right. Read it out. First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 41. Bro. This is our Greek history. Read. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his people, to his whole kingdom, that all should be one people. That all should be one people. That everybody, all the different nations will be one people. Read. And everyone should leave his laws. So all the heathen agree according to the commandments of the king. Stop. Quick question, brothers and sisters. Brothers, brothers, sisters. Read on. Yea, many also of the Israelites. Many also of who? The Israelites. Who do what? Consented to his religion. So the Israelites would consent to his religion. We will leave the keeping of the commandments, the feast days, the Sabbath days. What we're supposed to be doing is consent to the king's religion, read. Lord, Lord. And sacrifice unto idols. Sacrifice unto what? Idols. What is uh what are some of these uh Greek sororities and fraternities? What? Uh Q dogs, Delphus. idols, Kappas, idols. Delphus. These are idols, these is not for us. Right. Question, are any of you in Greek um fraternities or sororities? Read. And profane the Sabbath. We would profane the Sabbath day because we would be keeping what? The custom of these sororities and of these Greeks. Read. For the king had sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah. Get 48. Verse 48. Brother right here, do you know your nationality? With a nice suit on. Read. Verse yeah. Maccabees chapter 1 verse 48. That they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable. We will make our souls abominable in all these idolatrous customs that are not of the Israelites, but of the Greeks. Right. Read. With all manner of uncleanness. All and, manner of uncleanness. Read. And profanation. Is it? Yeah, verse 50. Verse 50. And the selfsame manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. So it was at one point in our history commanded for us to leave our laws and keep the custom of the Grecians or the Greeks. But today, we willfully go out and do these things. What? These were customs while we were in slavery. Sisters right here with the, with the red shorts. You know your nationality? You know who you are? Come over here, come over here. I know y'all got five minutes. No. So, my question is, what is your nationality? What's your nationality? Like, what land, like, what people do you come from? Like, stuff over here, right? What, like? You can, you can see. Um, like, what people do you come from? What, what's your race? What's your yeah. ethnicity? African American. So, did you learn that here? What did you learn that? You always do that. Where is African in America? Those are two different places, right? Are you from two different continents? African descent. There's many countries in Africa. Okay, give me um, Deuteronomy 28, 32. Because this is in the Bible that you don't know. Actually, Isaiah 1 and 3. Bring it up. Book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 is going to explain because this book is our history. That's right. We look at it as like a religious or mystical book, fantasies. No, it's our history right. that's been hidden from us. That's right. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knoweth his owner. So the ox is a dumb animal, but he knows his owner. He knows who he belongs to. Right? And the ass his master's crib. The ass his master's crib. This is another dumb animal. The donkey. He knows his master's crib. He knows where he's supposed to go back to where he can 
relate to, read. But Israel. But who? Israel. But Israel, the so-called African Americans, oh, Hispanics and Native Americans, Bring what? Up. Do if not know. They what? Do if not know. Did you know you were Israelites? Oh. Did you know you were an Israelite according to the Bible? Read that again. But, but Israel. But Israel. But Israel, the so-called African Americans, read. Do if not know. They don't know who they are. They don't know they're the God's chosen people. That they're the Israelites, read. My people. Yeah, I know, do if not consider. We don't even consider. We go on day to day. We 15, 20, 25 years old, 80 years old. Don't never consider. This is our history book, and we are the Israelites. We're the people of God. Give me Psalms 82. Psalms 82, verse 2. Step over, brother. Oh, you yeah. reading about our history. Read something. So, chapter 83, verse 2. You know, because there's a reason why we don't know. This book has been in so many churches, hotel rooms, everywhere. Everybody heard about the Bible. But for some reason, we don't know that our history is inside the Bible. For lo, thine enemies. Thine who? Thine enemies. Make enemies is in the Bible. We have enemies. Make it to moat. They make it to moat. There's a gathering of the enemies, read. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So the people that hate God have lifted up the head in what? Pride, read. They have taken crafty counsel. Taken what? Crafty counsel uh, yeah, like, against thy people. Crafty counsel is you're African American. That's right. Because the Bible says you're an Israelite. That's right. right. Crafty counsel is you're a black woman. Right. That's not what the Bible says. Black is a color in the crayon box. Black is the color of his pants, but you're not the same shade as his pants. That's right. So we're not black. We're the That's Israelites. Read on. That's right. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Read that again. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. How did they cut us off? By all these different religions, all these different philosophies. If you ask 10 of our people, what do you believe in? You get a lot of different answers. That's right. You won't get, I'm an Israelite and I got to keep God's laws. Right. You're going to get, I'm, in a, I'm a Moor, I'm a uh, Asiatic black man. I'm all these different things. How you doing, brother? What's your nationality? I'm good. I'm just African American. African American. Read that part again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Right. So the Bible, in the Bible, God's people have enemies. And these enemies have said what? Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Read on. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. I asked all of your nationality and I didn't hear Israel. That means this prophecy is true. That means the Bible is true. Read that again. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. So our people, we come to college, right, to learn things, right, to get educated. We learn all these deep, deep sciences, mathematics, chemistry, but why we don't learn that we're the Israelites? Right, bring it out. Why we don't learn who we are? They got a Bible. All we reading is the Bible. Why they don't teach us our history? You got any, any answer? Like why they don't teach us where we come from, our ancestry, anything like that? I thought maybe by a little bit, um, I say that God could just kind of wake people up and help us find a way. Back in power. I'm saying like so why? Okay. Why do you think they don't teach us who we are, where we come from? Why do they tell us lies about our history? Because it's important. Read. Uh, read that again. It's verse three. Psalms chapter eighty-three, verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. Why have they taken crafty counsel? Why? Other people know who they are, but we don't know who we are. They've done so many things to detach us from this book, told us lies about King James, the Bible is fake, you got all these translations. Why are they trying to detach us from our Bible? What's so special about us? What's so special about the Israelites? Get it on Bring it out. Bring it out. There's a special thing about a special people. That's right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art in holy people. So for thou, this is speaking to the, you Israelites, you so-called African Americans, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Read. For thou art in holy people. So we are holy people. We are separate people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the Lord thy God. What does thy mean? Thy is possessive. This is thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. 
to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. So that scripture that said, let us cut them off, crafty counsel, cut them off so the name of Israel is no more remembered, because they know the Israelites is God's chosen people. That's right. They don't want the Israelites to know that. That's but we right. know that prophecy is a fact because y'all just said y'all African Americans. Y'all didn't say y'all Israelites. Right. Right. So let me ask you a question. Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah. You do? So how do you know all, all black people are Israelites? We're gonna read about it because it's in the Bible. That's Romans 816. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. It says the spirit bear witness with our spirit. What is the spirit? The spirit is these scriptures. This is the spirit of God. Bear witness with who? With our spirit. With our spirit, the Israelites, that what? That we are the children of God. That what? We are the children of God. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Gotcha. Let's see if something in this Bible bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. That we are the Israelites. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Stop, no. stop right quick. Do y'all know why any of these things happen? These images of slavery and stuff like that? Why does this stuff happen? Did y'all learn that in school? Why we went into slavery? Read verse 15. Verse 15. The Bible, like I said before, is our history book. We're going to continue to prove that. Read out. But it shall come to pass. So in the future, this is going to happen. Read. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You so-called African Americans, don't listen to y'all God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So the Israelites was given a commandment, but Moses is telling Israel, if y'all don't do these commandments, read, that all these curses, all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Would y'all say this is the curse right here? Slavery, slave ships, oppression, prison, abortions, sickness. That's a curse. Read verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Stop. Any of y'all have children? Y'all don't have children. Read that again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Our sons and daughters were given unto another people. When did that happen? Right here in slavery. That's right. When we were in slavery when we got off the boats. Was we stuck together as a family? No, we were stripped and sent off to different plantations, right. different places, different right. locations, different slave masters. But read the Bible again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And it says this was a curse that would happen to the Israelites. If you had children, wouldn't you be mad if somebody just came and stole your child and took them somewhere else? Bring it out. That's right. You'll be pissed off, you'll be hurt, you'll be crying and weeping. But that happened to our people. Read on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Just like I said, our eyes will be failing and weeping and crying, read. And there shall be no might in thy hand. Was there any might in our hands when they were taking our, selling us uh, off on slave auction blocks? You know. We'd be like, nah, 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 I don't want that. I want my child. Nah, you get back here. You get back here, this gonna happen, why? Because it's a curse on the Israelites for breaking God's law. That's, That's right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. You know? Therefore shalt thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Stop. Do y'all feel like y'all have any enemies on the earth? Do you have enemies? We're gonna read out the Bible. Read 48. Therefore shalt thy serve thy enemies. So the Bible, the curses, we will be a servant to our enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who came and got us from the west coast of Africa and brought us here? Was it our friends or our enemies? Bring it up. Bring it out. It was our enemies. That's Read. Right. And hunger. And in thirst. We would serve them in hunger. What you eat right there? A banana, right? When we go get fruit and fresh veggies, we go to places like Whole Foods, Walmart, Bring stuff like that. But who owns these places? Bring right. Bring our it out. enemies. But what did the Bible just say? We would have to serve them in hunger. So for something you need to survive, food, yeah. you will have to go to another nation to get it. Water, yeah. right? Read. And in thirst. And in thirst. Water, Gatorade, Dasani, all these different things. Thirst, things we drink, Chick-fil-A. Our people don't own that. We have to go to somebody else. 
right. Read. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. And our clothing. Pilfered. Under Armour. We don't own these things. This is the proof that the Bible is 100% real. That's and these right. These verses match the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is identifying your history. You are the Israelites. That's right. And we combat it by like supporting black owned businesses, making our own local on the road too. So I feel like that's the way to start too. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and in the want of all things. So we would have to go to them in the want of all things. That's what the Bible says. That's and right. And this is going to happen until our Savior returns. That's the so called right. the Black Messiah, Jesus Christ. That's, That's right. right. So when it comes to, what was your question again? I'm saying, like, can we do things like we got our own clothing lines, support black owned businesses, stuff like that? So to have a, a legal, legit business clothing line, what do you need? I mean, license, you, need, support, really support. you need a license, right, to run a business legally. Where do you get the license from? Bring it on. I get a license from people that are above, but I think support is the biggest thing. If I can get support from a large community, that's the biggest thing I need. License to come safe. But still, the license to make your business legal, to legally file taxes, you still have to go through the enemy, the other nations. We can still build, though. But until Christ returns, we're going to be under these curses. Verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. Read that again. That we shall be saved from our enemies. That's all we hoping for. Because we know Deuteronomy 28, them curses, this oppression is going to be on us until we be saved from our enemies. That's right. 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 But let me ask you a question. Who is going to be saved? Who is salvation for? Is it for the African American or is it for the Israelites? Bring it out. Bring it out. Or is it for everybody? Who is it for? You been to church before? You been to church before? Who did they teach us salvation is for? Is it for the planet? Read that again. Verse 71. That we should that be saved. We, we, the Israelites, should be saved from who? From our enemies. So how is everybody going to be saved? A certain people is going to be saved from another people. That's, That's salvation. But read, uh, give me Revelation 21. Bring it out. Because even though, actually Zechariah 13, so even though we're the Israelites, that does not mean all the Israelites is going to be saved. Right. Just because you got the blood of the chosen lion in you, no mean you're going to be saved. Right. Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. What's gonna happen? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two thirds of the Israelites, God shows the people, are going to be what? Cut off and die. Now, two thirds of our people are going to die. Why is our people going to die? Why is two thirds going to be cut off? Like if we the chosen people, why is it prophesied that two thirds of the chosen people are going to die? Amos 9 and 10. Bring it out, huh? It's like, dang, we the chosen. We're going to be saved salvation for the Israelites. But we just read two thirds of God's people going to die. 66% of the so called African Americans, Hispanics, Native Americans are going to die. That's right. That's So hard to serve God. And why when I say that I'm a Jew, it's how odd. 
For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't singing that no more. It sounds wrong, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.